Okay, so we are going to do just three practice problems together. I just want you to remember, this is what you watched in the video, that we're learning about taxonomic classification. And this pyramid here kind of gives you the different levels of classification. And as you're higher up here, like in domain, you're going to be less closely related. And as you go down and as you get to like species, you're going to be more closely related. Um, uh, as you see up here too, you're going to be very broad, less least specific and very general. And then as you go down, things get more and more specific as you get more and more closely related. Okay. You share more and more of your DNA. Okay. So again, as you can see, we start with domain, we go to kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. So domain's the most broad and then species is the least broad. So keep that in mind. Again, you should have a sheet with some of this information on it that you can use to help you when we work through these questions. So the first question is this. A student wants to use the Venn diagram below, so this Venn diagram, to show the characteristics of two kingdoms of organisms. The characteristics that the two kingdoms share will be listed in the shaded area where the circles intersect. So we want to figure out what's going to go here, because that means that both kingdom of fungi or fungi and kingdom plantae, so plants, what is something that they both share? And so the question is this, which of these is a characteristic that the student should list in the shaded part of the diagram? And so we have A, heterotrophic, B, mobile, C, prokaryotic, or D, multicellular. So I want you to look at that chart on your sheet, and I want you to try to figure out what is something that kingdoms, that the kingdom fungi and the kingdom plantae share from these four? Okay, so there's only gonna be one. Okay, so if we go through these, heterotrophic means what? What does heterotrophic mean? Okay, so heterotrophic means that you, you need to eat other things for energy. Now, fungi are heterotrophic. They, cons they, they, they consume or um, eat, I guess, dead, decaying things. But plants, plants are not heterotrophs. Plants are what we call autotrophs. They use the sun to make their food or to make glucose. Okay. Mobile, mobile means that they move around. They're able to use energy and move around. Fungi and plants, while they may move a little bit, it's not in the same sense that an animal moves, and so they're not considered to be mobile or mobile, okay? C, prokaryotic. Remember, prokaryotic means that you are uh, have no nucleus um, for, your, for your DNA. You don't have membrane-bound organelles. Remember that both fungi and plants are a part, are eukaryotes, so they do have a nucleus. So our answer has to be D. They're both multicellular. They're made of many cells. Okay. Let's do another one here. The taxonomic classification of four species of amphibians are shown. So these are tables that you'll see on the star test, and so it's important that you know how to read them. On the left here, these are our taxonomic classes. And then over here on the top, these are the different common names for um, some species. So we're, we're looking at amphibians right now. These are some different types of frogs. So remember when we're looking at these, which one of these order, family, genus, or species is the most specific? The one that is the most specific is species, okay? The things that share this are going to be very closely related and then they're going to be Still closely related, but less so with genus. And then family, they'll still be closely related, but less so than these two, than organisms that are in these two, okay? Um, another thing to remember is that we use the genus and species to for their, sci for their um, scientific name. So we call the northern cricket frog the Acris crepitans. What would we call the green tree frog here? What would be our scientific name for the green tree frog? So if you look, genus is Hyla, species is Cinaria. So it's Hyla Cinaria. Hyla Cinaria, I mean. And don't worry about saying these, you just have to identify the name. 
So let's actually do the question now. Based on the information provided, which two species are most closely related? Well, again, if we're looking up here, they, they all share the same order. Okay, they all have the same order of anura. Okay, um, if you look at the family, what do you notice about the organisms and which ones have the same family or, or share the same family? Okay, so when I look, I see that the northern cricket frog and the green tree frog both have the Hylidae family name, whereas the northern leopard frog and the bullfrog have the Ranidae. Okay, so these two are going to be more closely related, and the green tree frog and the northern cricket frog are going to be more closely related. Let's go to genus. Do you notice in the genus that if any of these four species share um, a common genus name? I see that the northern cricket frog and the green tree frog don't have a common name, whereas the northern leopard frog and the bullfrog do have a common genus name. They have the lithobates genus. So that means that they're more closely related because, again, as you go down, you're going to be more closely related. So my answer then is going to be what? A, B, C, or D. The answer is going to be D for this one. Okay, last one. So we have the classification of four trees are shown in the table. Again, remember we have our common names up here or down here. So sometimes they switch it up on you, so just pay attention to that. So we have the different common names of the trees, and then we have order, family, genus, species. So again, they're not going to mix, mix these up. It always You're going to see that it's going to go from the like order is going to be more broad, and then you're going to get a little bit more specific until you get to the most specific, which is species. So looking at this chart, which two are the most closely related? So start, uh, let's, let's look first. Do any of these share a, the same order? So the two that share the same order, so Taiwan Beach has Fajales. I'm saying, I don't, it doesn't matter if you say these right. I don't think I am either. Lodgepole Pine is Penales. Taiwan Catkin Yu is Penales. And the Japanese Maple is Sapendales. Okay. So the two that share the same order are the Lodgepole Pine and the Taiwan Catkin Yu. How about family? Do any of them share the same family? And again, we don't only have to worry about these two, right? These are the only two that share this. And so if that being the case, then we know that it has to be the lodgepole pine and the Taiwan cat that are the most closely related. So the answer for this one is going to be B. Um, again, let's do one more practice before we go. Which one of these is going to be the least specific or the most general? Order, family, genus, or species? Okay, so again, remember, usually they're going to have it go from one side to the other, from less to most. And if you remember, order is always going to be the, is going to be more general than family, and the family is going to be more general than species, and species is going to be more, uh, the least general, the most specific. So again, we go from more general to less general, so more, most specific. So the most general one is going to be order, and the least general is going to be, and the most specific is going to be species. Okay, and then what's the scientific name for the lodgepole pine? So the scientific name, again, is going to be the genus and the species combined. So it's going to be Pinus contorta. Okay, so again, these are just some practice problems. If you had a hard time with these, um, that just means that you need to practice a little bit more.